All right, all right. What's going on, people? So, I just want to talk about um, sense of urgency. And what I mean by sense of urgency, I mean when it's time for people to change or make a difference in their life or any type of goals or missions that they're trying to accomplish, I like to evaluate people's sense of urgency and how much drive they have to get that thing done. So when it comes down to people's sense of urgency, I can see people's sense of urgency off the back after a couple of weeks or months when we're doing continuous programs and I get to feel them out better and I see their life status and I get a better feel for their life issues. And I put all this in the pot and I stir it up and, and, and I come out with, with an evaluation of how urgent certain needs in their life are imperative for them to get done. And I think our sense of urgency, like for instance, if we're trying to lose weight, our sense of urgency to really cap down on diet, focus on meals, don't miss meals, eat correctly week after week, week after week, week after week, your sense of urgency is going to determine how focused you are, your 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 ability to really home in and take it seriously. And it has to do with our comfortable margins in our life. And for years and years of being comfortable and having habits of just living a comfortable life. And when I say comfortable life, I don't necessarily mean that you have to have a, a good amount of finances where you know, you're not starving, you, 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 your house is great, your finances is great, your bills are paid. I'm talking about living in a comfortable circumstance because you fear or you hesitate to take on the next level of discomfort or pain of what it's going to take to get you out of an uncomfortable situation. So we tend to settle immediately for the comfortable situation. And we can be comfortable in our stress every single day. We can be very comfortable in taking on a bad work situation. I mean, and we just get comfortable because we've adapted to that level of stress. And it's become so repetitious on a weekly basis that we kind of get used to it not knowing that it's still tearing us apart and deteriorating, deteriorating us on the inside and out. But we'd rather be comfortable in a job because we fear to take a next move to a new job. We fear that our skill sets or our talents are as good as they are. So we don't take that leap because we're situated in a, in a, in a place that we're very comfortable at. And even though it could be highly stressed or highly pressured, we're still comfortable with that. So there's a switch inside of us that has to click to apply the sense of urgency to changes that we want to make happen in our lives. And that's very hard if you've been living a certain lifestyle year after year, year after year. If you've been in a job year after year, year after year. If you've been in a certain relationship year after year after year. And naturally, you're just comfortable in your stagnant stressful situation because in reality it's not that bad for you because you don't handle it you've been dealing with it and that might be your perception of this is how life is life is uh stress life is going to work i gotta do what i gotta do i gotta make money as long as my kids eat as long as my bills are paid i can engulf a ton of stress every single day but at the end of the day it doesn't matter i'm okay i can handle it yeah, we're handling it because the body and the mind will adapt and survive to any situation. But what you, you choose to make your body adapt to and survive to and the rewards that you're reaping from that surviving, adapting situation will show a strong incl inclination to where your life is headed and how you're going to live the rest of your life. So, and being in those comfortable situations and having the ability to click that switch of urgency and get out of those comfortable situations is very very hard and this is why we do challenges and this is why these obstacle races and these running races and these uh, uh physical fitness tests and these you know all these kind of physical challenges and mental challenges are so popular right now because all these things are doing is making people reveal to themselves who they really are and what they're capable of and it takes that kind of <laughs> i mean committed money buying into these things, um, a commitment from friends, teammates, partners to make people be put in a situation that helps them reveal their strength and their potential. So there's a little more pressure. So the urgency there. So the urgency was created outside of you. The urgency of support was created outside of you, but not necessarily in you. So 
what I try to help clients do these days and friends do these days is get in tune with the why because the why is going to help you click the sense of urgency. And if that why isn't rooted strongly and deeply within you of why you want to change or why you want to do this, your urgency switch will never click on. You just be doing another habit of trying to lose weight, work out through the week. Uh, it would just be called a habit, but you're really stagnant. You're stagnant in a new habit because the habit is not productive. If what you're doing is not productive, it's just a stagnant habit and you're just playing the role week to week, telling yourself that you want to get better, but the productive meter and value of the work that you're putting in and the return that you're getting, whether it's body composition, new mind, is not progressing as it should be because the sense of urgency and your why hasn't been formulated strong enough on the inside for you to drive, dig, and push forward very hard to get to certain goals you need in life. And in the society we live in, there's so many distracted factors and so many downers and, and, and lead weights, mental lead weights in our life that we just get comfortable. And that uncomfortable feeling of change or doing something different, that discomfort, that anxiety you feel on the inside, it's, it's, it's a not in your control situation and we don't like that. But you're not in control. You're not in control of time. And not being in control does not mean that your life is out of control. It means that you got to go with the flow and you got to have faith in yourself and you got to have faith in your higher power that the steps that you're taking are with righteous, good intentions to make yourself better. And either way, I'm a winner because I'm going to give my best, but at least I'm going to give myself a shot to change, a shot to be better rather than sit in a stagnant situation the rest of my life and look for reasons to pity myself and look for reasons to try to exploit the help of others when you're not helping yourself. Nobody can help you if you ain't helping yourself. Everything outside of you is a connective energy that needs to latch on to the drive of the mission that you have inside yourself and then it amplifies and then you take off and then before you know it you can look back on your achievements you can look back on where you've been but you're never gonna look back on where you've been if you don't know where you're going and if you don't know your why you're not gonna be able to click that urgency switch inside a lot of people like to click that urgency switch when they go to the doctors and it's too late and the doctors tell you listen your 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 insulin levels uh listen your bones uh listen your circulation uh you gotta work out you gotta cut some weight then it's a sense of urgency but sometimes you know it's too late it's too late you don't you don't acquire so much comfortableness onto your body over years and years and stress and weight and circulation that people think that they automatically can reverse that engine just so fast because you don't know how much more harder it's going to be to try to reverse that engine and then on top of that you're going to have the medical diagnostic stress to tangible with inside your mind as you're trying to put energy into getting better it's it's, it's you don't double challenge yourself you put yourself in a fearful situation. So now you're going to deal with the anxiety of there's a possibility that death could come to me earlier or there's a possibility that some serious medical disabilities could come to me earlier and, and I was in control of all this. So my message to you today is you need to connect your why to your urgency switch and be able to click that switch of urgency and apply it to your goals on a solo way. This is a solo personal thing of urgency inside you. And it's an energy, it's, a, it's like an untapped oil well inside your body that's just sitting there fresh, powerful. And we never touch it. Some of us never touch it. I touched it. I'm going to let you know that I know how to click my urgency switch on. I know how to apply the power that is deep inside me to get the job done or whatever I want in life to a certain degree. I've become very better over the years with this. It's taken me a long time and, and I'm still learning how to master it. It's what you choose. It's the direction of focus that you choose. And it has a lot to do with your self-esteem, your confidence, who you are. And, and you go with it and you move on it. But you got to know your why. You got to know your intentions to click the urgency switch. Think about that, people. What and how can you click 
your urgency switch inside your body and apply that to missions, plans, and goals and places that you're trying to get to in life. Whether it's a better level of fitness, a better level of occupation, a more healthier relationship status, whatever it is, make sure you have the sense of urgency applied to that. And the sense of urgency isn't just activated when it's a life or death situation or when doctors tell you something or when you witness so many tragedies so close to home that it makes you freak out and you worry and you want to make a change in your life because you don't want to go down that path. Why wait when you could get the job done today? Start now.